vous le voyez hein, sur les images. After the president of a holiday. Political development in Mali. Less than a month later, Tunisia's government fell. issue of unconstitutional change of government, it, it, it's a reflection of the extent to which we have a, a much, a, you could say, a challenge in this area as Africa. And we had managed to, to put it under control at the end of the 1990s when African Union, uh, at that time it was the OAU, started developing an approach and a doctrine on how to deal with unconstitutional change of government. Because for the 70s and the 80s, that's how leaders uh, exchange uh, uh, or, or that's how uh, leadership transitions happened in Africa. It was through military coups and all of that. And the African Governance Report is a biannual report of the African Union, the policy report of the African Union, in fact. And this is a report that's produced every two years by the APRM in collaboration with the Africa Governance Architecture. Feb around May, 28th May, there was also a uh, summit in Malabo. Uh, at which uh, there was a determination that the Africa Governance Report should focus on a question of change of government. And um, there are concerns that uh, if you look at the period and the number of um, uh, constitutional change of government, particularly those related to coups, uh, the intensity is uh, unprecedented when you look at the span across two decades span. And at this point, the African Union and other governments, of course, uh, were of the conviction that uh, we had made so much gains in um, democratic reforms on the introduction of democracy, entrenching democracy on the continent, that uh, it is... Uh, highly unlikely that we would experience a constitutional change of government. For those who value peace, security, development, uh, and good practice, the unconstitutional change of government is not a good thing. Because uh, many a times it slows down development uh, when uh, citizens and uh, military and all the other concerned actors get involved in that, it, 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 other things stagnate. Unconstitutional change is not uh, 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 a good thing in our countries. But at the end of the day, you should not only look at the phenomena, you look at the underlying causes of this. Well, despite the attempts and the efforts to uh, build the Africa we want, and also to build the Africa that is united, prosperous, and peaceful, we must also recognize the fact that we are still facing a huge governance deficits on the continent. And that is unfortunately what really led in many cases to the unconstitutional changes of governments in many parts of Africa. We, we are working with information that's coming from the populations, the actors that are at the center of the dynamic in the context where this dynamic actually occurs. And this is also another very rare uh, quality of uh, the basis upon which decisions are made on what the African Union and member states should do vis-a-vis -vis the uh, phenomenon of constitutional change of government. So the thematic analysis that we are conducting for this report actually focuses uh, on these five thematic areas. The first is that we have uh, engaged experts, uh, who are calling thematic experts, to look at the themes that have emerged uh, over the past two years on this question of unconstitutional change of government. The second prong of the development of the report uh, involves what we're calling targeted reviews. And so an instrument was developed and the APRM had uh, fielded missions to countries, six countries, where they had the conversations with government and the public there on what they consider to be the causes 
as well as what could be the potential uh, remedies and redress uh, of this phenomenon of unconstitutional change of government. So missions were fielded to Lesotho, Sierra Leone, the Comoros, Chad, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea. And these reports uh, were basically aimed at getting the primary data, information, and perspectives from actual countries that have experienced this phenomenon uh, regarding uh, what would be the best way forward and what are the lessons that uh, we can derive from their experiences. The third uh, prong or other stream of development of this report is um, a couple of uh, consultative missions. Uh, on the normative framework for sanctions regimes for unconstitutional change of government. And so the APRM fielded a mission to the United States, at the UN, uh, uh, particularly at the UN Security Council Secretariat branch, and also to the US government. And this review of um, the normative frameworks for sanctions regimes for unconstitutional change of government, the aim was really to look at uh, what are the uh, coherences and contradictions between the frameworks that are used by the United Nations, uh, by the US government, bilaterally, or the French government, and the EU, uh, versus their own framework for sanctions. We always say that we have a three, our problems fall into three categories governance, peace and security, and, uh, and development. So, but if you look at it and the relationship among these three challenges, you could say that governance is the base to Africa's challenge because governance is about leadership. So if you get leadership right, then you are able to get uh, 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 leaders who will make sure that we don't have conflicts in Africa and leaders, of course, who will prioritize the development of the continent. The most uh, pertinent uh, and uh, indispensable undertaking when you're addressing a problem uh, has to do with you understanding the problem, understanding the phenomena, the dynamic of that particular problem. And that means that you have to have the right information, the right intelligence, so to speak, correct information, relevant information for you to understand the problem. It's on the basis of the correct understanding of the problem that you can actually uh, conceive the right strategies and the right measures to address the problem. This is precisely what the Africa Governance Report uh, is aimed at, to have an accurate diagnosis of the problem, understanding of the problem, so that governments and the African Union can come up with the right strategies and measures.